G'day guys, welcome to today's Aussie Adventure. In this episode, we are in Pole Blue in the Barrington Tops National Park. We'll be here for three days exploring the area. We're here with the um, Port Macquarie and Districts Four Wheel Drive Club. Um, we're going to go and see some um, waterfalls and do a little bit of four wheel driving. Um, really looking forward to it. It's probably be over, th uh, be probably three series to this, I would say. Um, wait and see what happens when I start doing all the editing um, and wait and see how much footage we actually get. Anyways, guys, we'll give you a little bit of a walk around the, um, the, the campsite itself and um, we'll show you what amenities there are. Um, like I said, it's it's um, it's unpowered. It's completely off grid. However, there is a, there is um, like some. I think there's a communal area over there. Um, yeah, that you can you can actually camp under if it's if it's bucketing down rain and you got and you got swags and things. Um, there's fire pits and there's fire pits scattered all around out, around the place. Now you do have to book um, pre-book before you come um, um, with national parks. Um, I forget how much it costs uh, per night, um, so just look it up on the website. But it's a, a from what we can gather, it's a pretty pretty nice spot. You do have to bring your own firewood. You have to, and you've got to um, take all your rubbish out with you as well, as there is absolutely no um, um, rubbish um, disposal spots. There is a spot um, oh, that down there, which is a, I think that's a toilet actually down there. Um, and yeah, so there is toilets. Uh, and I think there's, some, there's a water tank there to wash your hands with. So I'll give you a bit of a walk around our setup. So um, if you've watched any of our other videos, you know we bought the van. Um, we'll see how this goes over the next... Um, I think we're going to be here three days, but it's um, four nights. So we'll see how that all, all pans out. Um, we have been for a little bit of a, a drive um, to get to Barrington Tops from Port Macquarie, which is where we're based. You have to actually come the long way and go through Scone because the roads are closed. But um, there's Maxine. You'll notice that I've actually taken the um, the awning off it as well, um, basically just to cut down on weight when we're towing. Um, you know, there's no need to have an awning and that when you've got your, when you've got a base camp set up. Another thing that we do too is um, we don't have a grey water um, tank. So we just um, put a bucket down and, you know, dispose of the grey water. Um, you know. um, you'll also notice I've actually plugged the, um, the caravan in to 240 volt um, just to keep everything topped up while I'm um, through the 2000 watt inverter. And I just keep everything open and it's plugged in and turned on. And we just leave it like that. It tops tops your batteries up. The, the, the battery in this thing charges really fast. So, you know, it, it's better to, to do it this way. And, and this way as well, we can use 240 volt um, appliances in the van. Um, we can charge cameras and all that sort of thing. But anyways, guys, um, we'll go for a bit of a walk around and we'll show you the area, um, show you what's here. And um, yeah, and hopefully you enjoy, um, I think it's gonna be a three part series. Okay, guys. Um, Let's see what the place has to offer. See is. Here's a sign that shows you all the flora and fauna um, of the area. Also shows you um, all the places that you can go. There is a 3K walk. Uh, Karen will be going on that walk, so we'll get some footage of that. On the other side of the sign, um, there's all the historical information of the area, and is yeah, it's um, very fascinating. Um, a lot of a lot of gold mining and stuff happened, and bush ranges and all sorts of things. There's our camp set up. There's our friends from the club parked up the hill from us. And as we scroll around, we'll have a little bit of a look. See, there's heaps of. Um, like bench seats around the place. This is a communal area. Um, it's got a water tank, a fireplace in it. Um, it's all sheltered. The thing is, though, I thought you could camp in here, but obviously you can't camp um, in under there. However, I don't think you'd be in trouble. Um, there's electric barbecues. 
which are free to use. Um, and there is place as well as a seating area. So it's a good little setup, this um, communal area here. Let's take a bit more of a look around and see what else there is to offer in the campground. This is the start of the Pole Blue Swamp Walk. It's 2.7 kilometres long. There is plenty of wildlife to be seen. Everything from wallabies to um, brumbies. They saw some wombat holes. Um, there's uh, like an area there where there's all these frogs. So stay tuned and watch it. Um, it might not be your thing, but what they saw and um, what they experienced was very, very, very special um, for them. I couldn't go on the walk, um, basically because of my health issues. Um, but other than that, it's wonderful. And stay tuned at the end as well, because I send the drone up for some really awesome footage. I'll take a video and show this. It is. Yeah. Stop that for a bit so people can see. I wonder if these, um, I don't know if they're a pine, I don't know if these are native. These are green pine looking things. What do you think? But you never know, Alpine region, maybe. Yeah. We need a ranger. Yes. Come to a walk with us. Tell us about it. Yeah, I'll tell you a funny story. Right? I've got all these photos that I've taken there on my wall at home. And people come over and the shot they love the most is the one that is blurred. You've been kicked out of the pouch. Oh, seems okay. A bit young, but yeah. Hello. I should probably try and take a photo. Wow, well, you can hear the frogs. Yeah, you can. Nice. Over the froggy swamp. Ah, oh, that's cool. Nice. Yeah, I was wondering when we'd get to, you know, the base of the actual swamp area. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Oh, and look at the little gap under the log. Yeah. Nice to listen to the sound of it too. It's just so peaceful. Beautiful. I wonder how close you'll let us get. Yes. We'll soon find out. Oh, there's water in front too. Oh. Beautiful stream. Oh, there's a bridge. Oh, there's a bridge. Okay. okay. There's a bridge. Good. I can't see him now. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. We're just having a walk. Having a stretch. After a day four wheel driving. Yes. Oh, is that gorgeous?
Why is moss like a sponge? The moss can hold up to 20 times its dry weight in water, soaks up water during wet times and then slowly releases it. The constant release of water from Pole Blue Swamp eventually trickles on to become part of the Hunter River. Wow, there you go. It's very pretty. Breakers. Ooh. Yeah. Wombat hole. Oh wow, look at that. Jeez. Oh, I've never seen a wombat hole before. Ah, there you go. Waiting for the wombat to come out. Oh, there's another. Um... That's an old one. Right? Yeah, very old one. Yeah. Wow, there you go. There's another one in there. See the fern. Where? Yeah, no, there's a big tree okay. there. There's, the there's a couple. <gasps> oh, there they are. <laughs> oh, great. Yay! What's your favourite? What's photo. There he is. <laughs> Doing that. He's making the path for us. Probably the one that did the fresh poos. <laughs> Aww. He's leading the way. <laughs> he can take us all the way back to camp. <laughs> there he is. It's male too. Yes. Peppery puzzle. What's green and glossy and threatened with extinction? Pepper bush. Hmm. It is. That's actually a really good view of the whole, whole swamp. So I haven't been able to capture it properly. Because of the trees. Yeah. No, that's neat.
Stay tuned for part two where we go four-wheel driving and visit the Furs, Devil's Hole and Junction Pools.